Ladies and gentlemen, hello and welcome back to the WWE 2K24 Universe Mode Series. We're here on Friday Night Smackdown, continuing to build towards that SummerSlam event. And we have the game Triple H starting off the show. He was successful in the most recent premium live event, Hell in a Cell, where he took on none other than the final boss, The Rock. And it was a brutal, brutal matchup between the two, but Triple H somehow came out on top at the end of the night. But he is here with a bit of an announcement for the WWE Universe as we continue to build towards that SummerSlam event. The first ever two-night SummerSlam event in WWE history. It's just going to be one hell of a show. It's going to be probably the biggest SummerSlam event that WWE has ever put on and the game Triple H is making his way out here to address that event I guess and perhaps maybe even make some announcements about what might go on on that event over on Monday Night Raw we did get a few matches that have been confirmed a lot of challenges being thrown out there superstars trying to get themselves on the card as soon as possible it seems like And that man right there, Triple H, could potentially be heading to that card as well. The CEO of the company has been getting his hands dirty lately. Probably not his choice. Probably feels like he's been a little bit forced into it. But as I said, he's going to address the WWE Universe. Let's see what he's got to say. At Hell in a Cell, I proved that The Rock is no match for the game. But now, I've got my sights set on SummerSlam. Batista, you and I have unfinished business, and it's time to settle it once and for all. I'm challenging you to a three stages of hell match at SummerSlam. Three falls, three different match types, and only one of us walking out the winner. But here's the twist. We're going to make this interesting. The stakes will be higher than ever before. If you beat me, Dave... I will step down as the CEO of WWE. But when I beat you, you must step down as SmackDown general manager. Think of it as a job versus job match. This is exactly what you said you wanted, Dave. You want me out of this company so bad, I think it's about time you prove it. But that's not all, Dave. You and I will each choose a superstar to represent us on SmackDown in two weeks. If my chosen superstar wins, I get to pick two of the three falls. If your superstar wins, you get to pick two of the three match types. Ilya. I've been hearing a lot about you lately. Seems like you think you can waltz in here and start taking opportunities from guys who've been busting their asses week in, week out. Lashley. If those superstars haven't seized their opportunities yet, then that's on them, not me. I'm not here to take away from anyone, except Logan Paul. I'm here to elevate the WWE and show the world what a mad dragon is capable of. Elevate WWE? You've got some nerve. You think just because you made a name for yourself in NXT, you can come here and make claims like that? This is SmackDown. And this is where the best of the best prove themselves. So how about you prove yourself tonight against me? A match against you, Lashley? I welcome the challenge. It's exactly what I need to show everyone why I belong here. Tonight, you'll see firsthand what the Mad Dragon can do. Hell in a Cell was just the beginning. With my partner Ruby Riot, we proved that the Unholy Union isn't as stoppable as they think. But Alba, you and I, we're not done yet. You've pushed me to my limits and I've come out stronger every single time. So Alba, I'm challenging you to a one-on-one -on -one match at the first ever two-night SummerSlam event. No partners, no interference. Just you and me. Let's settle this once and for all. Okay, so here we go. Moving on with the show and we have Stingles action. So we saw earlier on tonight Backstage, Ilya Dragunov, the Mad Dragon, officially arriving here on SmackDown. 
and backstage early on tonight he was well he had a little bit of a confrontation with Bobby Lashley Bobby Lashley believes that Ilya Dragunov thinks that he just can walk on into Smackdown and get an opportunity when other superstars are perhaps more deserving of those opportunities so we have Bobby Lashley who is about to go one-on-one -on -one with Ilya Dragunov we did see Ilya Dragunov a, a couple of weeks back backstage with Logan Paul the United States champion and Ilya Dragunov made it clear that he wants to come for that title and he wants to take that United States championship away from Logan Paul but Bobby Lashley clearly has his eyes set on that title as well so I guess we could maybe even determine who the number one contender is here tonight for that United States Championship. Will it be Ilya Dragunov or will it be Bobby Lashley? I'm sure this is going to be one hell of a hard hitting contest. Ilya Dragunov looks more than ready. The determination in the Mad Dragon's eyes as now he awaits for the almighty Bobby Lashley. So the almighty Bobby Lashley next up out here. Bobby Lashley making his way down to the ring. We haven't really seen much of Bobby Lashley in this Universe Mode series. But here he is. And he's looking to make one hell of an impact. Right on the lead up towards SummerSlam. So this is one hell of an opportunity for both of these superstars. They could perhaps get themselves on that card. The crowd seem to be more behind Ilya Dragunov here tonight. Perhaps they want to see the NXT stand out perhaps going after a championship on the main roster but Bobby Lashley definitely has other plans a former United States champion himself and he's looking to regain that championship in the near future So here we go, singles action, Bobby Lashley, Ilya Dragunov. Who's going to come out on top between these two? As I said, I'm sure this is going to be a hard-hitting conti contest. Bobby Lashley has the power advantage. But Ilya Dragunov, we know he likes to hit hard. Ilya Dragunov just targeting the arms of Bobby Lashley. Looking to wear out the big man. Big elbows into the corner. Ilya Dragunov might not have the same size as most competitors, but he knows how to use every part of his body to deal as much damage as he possibly can into the cover, but just a one count. Perhaps just testing out Bobby Lashley early on. Now Lashley with Ilya Dragunov into an swinging neck breaker, driving Dragunov down to the mat, and then an elbow drop to follow for good measure. Bobby Lashley again with the elbow to the heart. Ilya Dragunov quickly back to his feet, but straight back into the clutches of the Almighty One. Bobby Lashley just throwing Ilya Dragunov across the ring. I'm not sure who Logan Paul would want to face more, to be honest. Would he even want to face either of these two for that championship? Because whoever he faces out of these two, it's going to be one hell of a contest, one hell of a challenge. Arguably, maybe even his biggest challenge thus far. He has been caught up with the bloodline and specifically Jimmy Uso. But he seems like he's moving on from that chapter. It's now Ilya Dragunov sending Bobby Lashley into the corner and then in with a knee strike to the upper chest just below the jaw. Now just driving his foot into the throat of Bobby Lashley. Looking to take all the wind out of the almighty one into the cover. Big kick out found again. Ilya Dragunov needs to do more damage to keep Bobby Lashley down. 
No, Ilya Dragunov out to the outside. What's he thinking about here? A stomp on the arm. And a big kick to the spine now. Ilya Dragunov in firm control right now, sending Bobby Lashley towards the steel steps, but Lashley able to find a reversal and a huge clothesline. Turns Bobby Lashley inside out. Now Bobby Lashley sent into the steel steps that time. Ilya Dragunov just going to break up the count and make his way back up to the outside. And Bobby Lashley with Ilya Dragunov sending him towards the other still steps. Not quite into them though. And oh my word, look at the power. Bobby Lashley driving Ilya Dragunov down to the concrete floor. Now Bobby Lashley with Ilya Dragunov, but a reversal found, and Bobby Lashley sent straight into the still steps this time. Nice right, so on a six count, and these two are going to have to keep an eye on the referee's count here. Ilya Dragunov, though, looking for a German suplex, but a reversal found. Was perhaps looking to German suplex Bobby Lashley into the barricade. Bobby Lashley back into the ring, but he's going to break up the count. Interesting, a clothesline delivered by Ilya Dragunov. Now Dragunov heading into the ring. Bobby Lashley's feeling it right now. Dragunov gonna break up the count and was maybe thinking about going to the announce table but decided against it. And now just sending Bobby Lashley with that hip toss. Driving his spine first onto the concrete. Wicked clothesline again. Turning Bobby Lashley inside out. Ilya Dragunov really showing up here tonight. Trying to showcase exactly what he's all about. And Bobby Lashley back to his feet again and now sending Ilya Dragunov towards the steel steps. But luckily for Dragunov, he was able to put the brakes on. And Bobby Lashley with Ilya Dragunov up again. And just driving him down. He may have caught his chin on the barricade there, Ilya Dragunov. Referee on a seven count. Bobby Lashley got to be careful here. Big elbows found by Dragunov. An eight count now. Are these superstars going to head back into the ring? Bobby Lashley not quite going to do so, but Ilya Dragunov breaks up the count. Now he sends Bobby Lashley back into the ring. Ilya Dragunov asking Bobby Lashley if that's all he's got. Now Ilya Dragunov, what's he going for here? Oh my goodness, Ilya Dragunov with a suplex. Off with the apron. Almost breaking Bobby Lashley in half. Almost breaking himself in half as well. Oh my goodness. And Bobby Lashley. Thought he found a reversal there, but a DDT found by the Mad Dragon. And then your Dragonov just gonna give Bobby Lashley a little bit of space to get back into the ring. Spent most of this matchup on the outside, but Ilya Dragunov into the cover now. Huge kick out found. Oh, and then a spear out of absolutely nowhere. Oh my word, what is going on here? Bobby Lashley for the victory. No, huge kick out found by Ilya this time. Oh my word. Well, these two men putting it all out on the line here tonight big elbow drop by Bobby Lashley again now Ilya Dragunov up to his feet sent into the ropes Bobby Lashley just trying to wear out Ilya Dragunov by making him run the ropes and an elbow drop to the spine into the cover again goes the almighty one for a big victory here no Ilya Dragunov gets the shoulder up once again. Bobby Lashley telling Dragunov to get back to his feet here. And Bobby Lashley now with Ilya Dragunov up and slamming him down with a devastating powerbomb. Surprised he didn't go for the cover after that, to be honest. Might have been a wise decision. Looking to deal more damage though, targeting the ribs and the spine of Ilya Dragunov. Now Bobby Lashley... Could be looking for the Dominator, perhaps. Bobby Lashley driving Ilya Dragunov down. You've got to think maybe this one's all over now. Into the cover. Big kick out found again by Dragunov. 
My word, these two superstars. We've not really seen them in this universe mode, but they're putting one hell of a show on for us. Now Dragunov, what's he planning here? Bobby Lashley up. Slamming him down with his own power bomb. Now Dragunov clearly got something in mind. Dragging Bobby Lashley in towards the middle of the ring, away from the ropes. Wise decision into the cover. A big kick out found. A bit lethargic by Bobby Lashley, but got the shoulder up nonetheless. Both these superstars completely spent here. As I said, leaving it all out on the line, and the H-bomb found by Ilya Dragunov. The crowd want one more, but Dragunov's not going to risk it. Into the cover here, big kick out again by Bobby Lashley. What more has Ilya Dragunov got to do? Bobby Lashley finds a reversal of his own. And he could have been backing it up towards the corner there, but Dragunov back to his feet. And Bobby Lashley now. A reversal found by Dragunov. And now bringing Bobby Lashley back and into the hip toss. Lashley wisely rolling to the outside, creating some space. But is it going to work to his advantage? And you know, Dragunov just with some words for Bobby Lashley there, telling Bobby Lashley to get back in the ring. Ilya Dragunov feeling it here. And it's into another hip toss by Ilya Dragunov. Now Bobby Lashley sent back into the ring. Dragunov could be possibly thinking about ending this matchup. A drop kick connecting. And Dragunov. Oh, a spear found by Bobby Lashley out of nowhere. Well, that could have cost Ilya Dragunov. He took a moment too long and a big kick out found again. How is he doing it? How are both of these stars doing this? Bobby Lashley playing up to the crowd here. Clearly has a size advantage, but Ilya Dragunov gets the reversal. Getting the crowd behind him, getting them psyched up. He's backing up into the corner. This could be it. Ilya Dragunov is feeling it here, connecting with another H-bomb. Surely this one's all over. Into the cover for the new number one contender. He's done it. Ilya Dragunov, the new number one contender. And speaking of which, here's the United States champion, Logan Paul. Ilya Dragunov and Logan Paul could potentially be fighting it out for that United States Championship at SummerSlam. Unless, of course, we have that matchup before then, but Logan Paul is out here to send a clear message to his next challenger. He believes that title is staying with him. So moving on into our main event of the evening where we have the EST of WWE. She was unsuccessful at the Hell in a Cell Premium Live event. So her plans to become a double champion are thwarted for now. But she does still have that title opportunity for SummerSlam. But as for tonight, she's in singles action. We're gonna have to wait and see though whether Bianca Belair is actually gonna stay on SmackDown or whether she's going to decide to head on over to Raw and maybe go after the Women's World Championship. Either way, it's going to be one hell of a challenge because over on Raw, we have Rhea Ripley and Ronda Rousey hovering around that title. Rhea Ripley, the current Women's World Champion. And then if she stays over here on Friday Night Smackdown, she's got to face up against Becky Lynch once again. Becky Lynch has already got two victories over the EST in this Universe Mode series, so... It is a big question whether she's going to go back after the man, Becky Lynch, again. But as for tonight, Bianca Belair coming up against Asuka. So the Empress of Tomorrow is here on Friday Night Smackdown. She's another superstar that we haven't really seen much of in this Universe Mode series. Not really been able to get anything going for herself. But this is a big opportunity. If she's able to get a victory over Bianca here tonight, 
And she could well and truly put herself into that title picture. It's just a big, big opportunity for Oscar. She could get herself pretty much into the main event or at SummerSlam. Because Bianca Belair did earn herself that right to the main event at SummerSlam. So if Oscar is successful here tonight, let's say that Bianca Belair does opt to go to Monday Night Raw. Then Oscar could potentially just have a one-on-one -on -one match against Becky Lynch. Which would obviously play in her favour. But if Bianca Belair opts to go after Becky Lynch once more. Then we could end up with a triple threat match. If Oscar is able to get the victory here tonight. So main event for you. Two of the best in the women's division going head to head. But who will become victorious in this one? Underway, here we go. EST versus the Empress of Tomorrow. Big shoulder tackle by Bianca Belair. Oh, and then the knees to the midsection of Bianca there. And a big drop kick found by Oscar. Oscar will really want to. Try and impress here tonight. Try and get her Universe Mode series or Universe Mode career going. As I said in the entrance, she's not really been able to find her way thus far and get anything going for herself. She was actually undrafted at the start of this Universe Mode. But luckily, early on, she had an opportunity to earn a contract. And she did exactly that. And a big kick to the spine there of Bianca Belair. Now stomp on the face. Now Oscar looking to go for the cover already here. But not even a one count. The EST is, has definitely got well and truly a lot more left in the tank. Now Oscar doing quite well so far. Been dominating this matchup up until this point. Can she continue that? Bianca Belair up and driven down to the mat. Bianca Belair with a quick kip up there. These two potentially going to trade blows in the middle of the ring. To the delight of the fans, Bianca Belair able to find a few reversals here. Oscar wants her to bring it again, and she does so. Big right hand. Now Oscar with the reversals. Big slap across the face of the EST. Big forearm by Bianca. Just stuns Oscar for a second, and then a big shoulder tackle found. The EST will look to climb back to the top of the mountain, driving Oscar back down into the mat, into the cover, but a kick out found out. Just a count of one. So Bianca does seem to, she seemed like she was kind of on the rise in this universe mode until Survivor Series, where Becky Lynch just seemed to almost wipe the floor with Bianca Belair. It was a quick matchup, and Bianca didn't really get much offense in. And Becky Lynch was able to take that championship away from the EST. Oh, and driven down to the concrete floor. And then at the Hell in a Cell Premium Live event, Bianca Belair had a second opportunity, used her rematch clause, and was unsuccessful there as well. So Becky Lynch is 2 0 over Bianca Belair at the moment. It's now Bianca heading back into the ring. Bianca and Oscar. In the center of the ring, but Oscar putting the brakes on. And now Bianca Belair could be looking for the glam slam connecting into the cover for a victory. This will be a quick one and a bit of a shock victory, to be honest. Big kick out found by Oscar. The only reason why I say that will be a shock victory is because it's very early on. But oh my word, Bianca Belair with Oscar up into the KOD, into the cover. This could be all over. Oscar's in trouble. She finds the kick out again. It's a real test for Bianca Belair. And now, with Oscar up and driving her down to the mat. Another pinfall into the cover once more. A big kick out found again by Oscar. Bianca Belair looking a little bit desperate here tonight. She needs to remain calm. Go back to the drawing board. Again with another deadlift. 
Lifting Oscar up and driving her down to the mat once again with that power slam. This time, opting not to go for the pinfall. Now, Oscar finding a reversal. Big kick to the midsection. Big right hand found by Bianca Belair into a snap suplex. Driving Oscar down to the mat spine first. Elbow drop just missing by Bianca Belair. Now Oscar sending Bianca off the ropes here. What's Oscar thinking? Oscar, oh, a knee strike to the midsection and a kick to the back of the head. Into the cover, Bianca could be out. She's kicking out before one. I thought she could have been out cold there for a second. Now Oscar finding a reversal and then a spinning heel kick. Right on the jaw of Bianca Belair. Bianca finds a reversal here and into another KOD perhaps. Connecting. Oscar's in deep, deep trouble. She's away from the ropes for a big victory. She's done it. Bianca Belair with a victory and she's, she's grabbing a microphone here. At Survivor Series, I made history by winning the first ever 30-woman gauntlet match, earning myself a title opportunity in the main event of SummerSlam. Now, I know I had a rematch clause and I used it at Hell in a Cell, but things didn't go my way. But guess what? I'm still here, and I'm still ready to take back what's mine. Becky Lynch, you better be ready because at SummerSlam, I'm coming for that WWE Women's Championship. Hold on a second. And the storm has arrived. Jade Cargill. Clearly not happy with the words that are coming out of Bianca Belair's mouth. So what is Jade Cargill going to have to say to Bianca Belair? She has been pretty much in looming in the shadows with Bianca Belair recently. Popping up here and there, especially when Bianca had that title. So we're going to have to wait and see... What Jade Cargill has to say here tonight. As she slowly makes her way down to the ring. I'm sure she has a clear-cut message for the EST of WWE. Let's see what Jade Cargill has to say. Hold on a minute, Bianca. Let's not forget something. I've been waiting for my shot and I've been very clear about wanting to face you. But you've had your chances. Now it's my turn. You see, Bianca, I respect what you've accomplished. But you need to step aside. It's Jade Cargill's time to shine. Oh my god. Well... Now we've got the irresistible force out here. What on earth is going on tonight? Interruptions after interruptions. My goodness. Nia Jax has been on one hell of a roll and she's clearly got, got a bone to pick with these two, I guess. I'm a little bit speechless, to be honest. Let's see what Nia Jax has to say. Hold up, hold up. Jade, Bianca, let's get something straight. I'm the most dominant force in this division. And I've been overlooked for too long. Bianca, you've had your shot. Jade, you want your shot. But you've done nothing to earn it. But it's about time that Nia Jax gets what she deserves. I didn't come back here to be brushed aside once again. I should be facing Becky at SummerSlam. Well... Speak of the champ, and here she is. Becky Lynch making her way out here. What has she got to say to the, her potential challengers? Oh, would you look at this? Three women fighting over who gets to lose to me at SummerSlam. How cute. Bianca, Jade, Nia, you all think you deserve a shot, but let's be real. It doesn't matter who it is. Because the man is still going to be your women's 
champion at the end of SummerSlam. But hey, I'm feeling generous. Why don't you three sort it out amongst yourselves? And I'll be here, ready to prove why I'm the best in the business. Becky, don't get too comfortable. No matter what happens, I'm coming for that title. And I won't stop until it's back around my waist. You better believe it, Becky. You haven't faced anyone like me before. When I get my shot, I'm taking that title. You all can talk all you want, but actions speak louder than words, and my actions at SummerSlam will speak volumes. Okay, so moving on with the show. And we got none other than main event, Jey Uso making his way out here. And he seems to have gone back to his old attire. A bit of a mixed reaction here on Friday Night Smackdown after the, the events that happened at Hell in a Cell. So there was a lot of questions around Jey Uso. Would he rejoin the bloodline? Would he side with Roman Reigns once again? And it honestly seemed like for a long time he was siding with Roman Reigns until that Hell in a Cell event where after the match, after Roman was successful in defending the title with Jey Uso being a special guest referee, Jey pretty much handed that victory to Roman. But after that, Jey Uso would wait for Roman to turn his back before striking Roman from behind, which is a little bit unlike Jey. But Jey's back out here yeeting with the crowd. And to be honest, it's quite surprising that the crowd are even yeeting with him. As there is a bit of a mixed reaction, but Jey Uso out here with a bit of a message for the WWE Universe. Let's see what Jey Uso has to say. Y'all got questions. I know. And I've got some answers for you, Us. I've done a lot of things in recent months. Things I didn't want to do, Us. I didn't want to do it. Let's take it back a few months. First off, Cody Rhodes. Cody, you came after me during that gauntlet match on the first episode of SmackDown after the WWE Draft. I didn't take it personal, Us. It's the nature of the game. But then, Cody, you crossed the line. You went after my brother, Jimmy. Delivering a beatdown that I won't forget. And if that wasn't enough, you interrupted me when I was trying to speak my mind just before Money in the Bank. And I realised right there, you were trying to take my moment away from me. So at Money in the Bank, I did what I had to do. I speared you, Cody. Because you needed to be reminded who you're dealing with. Well, let's talk about Roman. Roman Reigns, the tribal chief, the head of the table. The man who used me. The man who still to this day wants to manipulate main event Jey Uso. His entire title reign. This whole bloodline story, it all started with me, Us. And I decided it's going to end with me. Roman, you thought I was back in line. But you never saw it coming. At Hell in a Cell, I made my move. I struck you from behind because I needed to make a statement. I will see you at SummerSlam. I'm the one who will end this. I'm the one who will take that Universal Championship. Oh, well it looks like someone may disagree with that statement right there, Jay. And that is the Viper himself, Randy Orton. I'm sure he's probably going to feel a little bit like he's been screwed over by Jay Uso because Randy was literally virtually back in the ring when Jey Uso counted him out basically handing the championship back to Roman Reigns once again so you've got to think that maybe Jey Uso did that on purpose because he knew that he wanted to take on Roman at SummerSlam but let's see what Randy Orton has to say to Jey 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 you really think you can get away with what you did at Hell in a Cell you cost me the match. And I'm not the kind of guy who lets things slide. So here's your ultimatum, Jay. 
Either I slide into this ring right now, RKO your face into the mat, and kick your skull in just like I did to the precious wise man, Paul Heyman. Or you can make it up to me. Make it up to you. How? Next week on SmackDown, you put your main event at SummerSlam on the line. You and me one-on-one. -on -one. If you win, you keep your spot. If I win, I take your place and get my shot at Roman Reigns and the Undisputed Championship. You want a match? You got it. Next week it's on. And Randy, you better believe I'm going to bring everything I've got. Because this isn't just about SummerSlam for me. This is about proving that I'm the one who deserves that main event and I'm the one that will take down Roman Reigns. Thank <laughs> you.